If you're new to investing, the number of options could be quite overwhelming, especially if you're not one of those people who particularly enjoys reading articles after articles, scouring Reddit for answers, watching four-hour lectures online, and researching for hours on end. Which is probably why you clicked on this video. Well, congratulations! You did the first step in investing, which is learning about it. That is already more than what most people would do. Another congratulations because you happened to be on the right channel at the right time. In today's video, we are going to talk about the five best investments you can make right now that have the best possibility of making you the most amount of money possible in your lifetime. Consider this as a one-stop shop for investments that are good for a long-term hold. And I'm not just pulling this out of thin air. Statistically and historically, these investments have performed way better than all the others out there over a 20-year time frame. So, if you're someone who has a low to medium risk appetite and prefers to wait for the profits to come rather than gluing yourself in front of a screen waiting for the right time to buy and sell, then this video is perfect for you. But before that, go ahead and click that like button. It helps the channel bring more people to our little bubble. While you're at it, click the bell icon to subscribe to this channel and stay on the loop with the latest videos on personal finance and investments. Number 1. International Index Funds Index funds in general are a great starting point when it comes to investing because of its simplicity. In a previous video titled, 6 Great Investments to Make for the Year 2022, which you should definitely check out after this video, index funds were discussed. But if you're new here, then let me show you the breakdown. Basically, an index fund is just a huge basket of stocks that consists of a little bit of everything at a usually lower price than individual stocks. Think about it this way. Imagine you're at Candy Corner and there's a hundred candy choices for you. Everything looks so good that you want to try them all. But if you buy 100 grams of each candy separately, it will cost you a lot of money and you will probably not be able to taste them all. However, they allow people to buy 100 grams mix of all candies at only $25. That mix of candies is what an index fund is like. Instead of buying stocks individually and stressing over which one you should really buy to get the largest profit, you can just buy an index fund that contains several different stocks at a low price. It's more of a passive investing strategy, so you don't have to worry about picking the best stocks and keep an attentive eye on its movement. Index funds has performed so much better than other investments, surpassing 95% of active investments over a 20-year time frame, meaning you're 95% more likely to profit more with this one, rather than trading individual stocks. Got it? Now, let's zero in on International Index Fund. From the word international, this covers not just the stock market inside the United States, but also around the globe, including emerging markets in North America, Europe, Middle East, and the Pacific region. Some of the prominent companies in this mix are household names such as Alibaba, Nestle, Toyota, Samsung, and the likes. While investing in this yields a high profit, there's just one downside. 
international index funds have stayed relatively stagnant over the past 10 years because the U.S. market has consistently been performing better than the other markets around the world. This is not always guaranteed to happen, though. Historically, there have been numerous records of international index funds outperforming domestic index funds. This is a good indicator that it's much better to get both domestic and international index funds. As always, it's crucial to have a diverse profile. We never know how the future will turn out, so it's good to have safety nets. Talking about safety nets, it's best if you don't put all your money in just this one. Maybe just allocate a good 10% to 30% and you're good to go. Number 2. The S&P 500 Index Fund Let's now discuss the most well-known index fund in the investing world. You will never see a list of investment options that doesn't mention the S&P 500. And for a good reason. This is a selection of 500 publicly traded companies in the US that are some of the largest, such as tech companies Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Google, retail companies Lowe's and Kroger, and automotive companies Boeing and Tesla. Because of how amazingly it has done over the past 100 years, it appears that it has become the bar against which all other investments are measured. In fact, with dividends reinvested, the S&P 500 has returned almost 2.5 million percent since 1921. That might seem like too huge a number to be true, and yet it is true. It's 2.5 million percent exclusive of taxes and inflation. But even if you account for inflation, you will have multiplied your $200 investment in 1921 into well over $362,000 today. If you've already invested more than that and stuck with it, you'll probably be a millionaire sometime in the future. It has been reported that investors who buy into the S&P 500 makes more money than 92% of other investors who are trading individual stocks on their own. Which is why this is the most preferred option for most investors. Not only does it take away the brunt of investing, but it has also given investors higher returns historically. Number 3. Total Stock Market Index Fund An index fund again? Well, yes, because clearly, index funds are the safest and most sensible options in the investing world, especially if you're just starting out. But don't worry. This is the last one you need to know when it comes to index funds. We already talked about the international index funds and the S&P 500, and it might look like a lot already, but actually, those only take up a small percentage of all the stocks available out there. Let's now talk about the index funds that encapsulates most of which is the Total Stock Market Index Fund. While both the S&P 500 and the Total Stock Market Index Fund cover only the U.S. market. They differ in the stocks that they include. The S&P 500 Index Fund includes only large cap stocks, while the total stock market index fund includes small, mid, and large cap stocks, which means that you will be exposed to smaller companies that could potentially give you bigger returns. Now, if you invest in all the three indices that have been discussed so far, then you are practically investing in pretty much all the markets in the whole world. You just took diversity in a whole other level, which is kind of assuring as an investor because you know that if one sector doesn't do well, then the others can make up for that. However, it's important to note that a lot of companies listed in the S&P 500 index fund 
and the total stock market index fund overlap a lot. So it's not necessary to invest in both. You can just choose one or the other. But if you're someone who doesn't mind having an overlap, then go for it. Number four, real estate. While it is one of the most expensive investments to undertake, it is also probably one of the most rewarding. Most realtors become huge earners by buying and then renting or selling and continue to do so because of the following reasons. First, one of our basic needs is a place to live in. Land and housing are things that cannot be replaced. We only have a limited number of pots available in the world, and the more it decreases, the higher the demand will be. The higher the demand, the higher the prices will be. The market for this is literally everyone in this world. Second, banks are more than willing to lend you the money that you need for your investment, which is the money you will use to buy the house, with just a few prerequisites. You just have to shell out a 10 to 20% down payment and show that you have the capacity to pay without any problems. After that, you just have to stay on top of all your mortgage payments. Without needing to pay all of it at once, you have a huge advantage compared to when you're investing in stocks. Third, since you have absolute control over your property, you can totally make smart changes here and there to strategically inflate the value of your property and the amount of money you can collect in rent. Commonly, it's better to seek properties that were a little rundown and in need of some love, but only requires minimal work aesthetically. Renovating the bathrooms, bedrooms, kitchen, paint, and scenery can make a significant impact. That could potentially inflate the value of your property significantly with only a few months of labor. Fourth, the property itself may be utilized for a variety of purposes. You might be able to utilize it as a less expensive option to renting, or you might rent it to someone else for a quick profit. You could also turn it into a commercial renting space or something that could be a mix of both which is quite common nowadays. Fifth, the tax benefits. Who doesn't love deducting as much tax responsibilities as they can, right? With real estate, everything is a write-off against rental revenue, including mortgage interest, property taxes, insurance repairs, property management upkeep, and so on. You might alternatively depreciate the property's value over 28 years. So, on a $275,000 structure, the first $10,000 in revenue is almost entirely tax-free after the write-off. Number 5. Cryptocurrency And finally, we have cryptocurrency. It would be a crime not to discuss cryptocurrencies, since we're talking about the best investments that you could keep for the rest of your life. Now, here's the deal. Bitcoin has yet to be proven historically. We don't have a century's worth of statistics to help and back us up. We don't have any precedents to draw on, and we have no clue as to how this will unfold over the next 20 to 40 years. But its performance in the short term is admittedly rather spectacular. Bitcoin, the main cryptocurrency, was the best performing asset of this decade, outperforming the stock market by 10 times. It was also the most profitable asset in 2020, outperforming all the others. So it's something that you need to keep an eye on and treat a little more seriously perhaps even incorporate it into your portfolio as something you buy once and keep for life. Even though it is relatively novel in comparison to all the other options discussed earlier, it definitely would be worth a shot to see what course it will follow. There is a huge chance that it will drop to a deadly 90%, but it could also go the other way and multiply 
one hundred times from where it is now. It is also quite intriguing that other financial institutions have started promoting it, like Morgan Stanley offering its wealthy clients access to Bitcoin funds, and J.P. Morgan Chase being one of the banks that has invested the most in crypto and blockchain to date, despite previously doubting its longevity. Overall, these five assets should provide the most diversity while also providing the highest historical return, according to scientific evidence. But truly, if all you did was invest every month in a total stock market index fund, you would most certainly surpass the great majority of investors. And that's only the start of what you might accomplish with it. You can choose how hands-on or hands-off with these as you like. It really doesn't have to be complex. Hopefully, this information would be useful to you who is considering where to invest their money or how to maximize their profits. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below and click the bell icon to be the first to know when new videos on personal finance and investments go up. Go ahead and give this video a like too. It helps the channel a lot. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.